What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another video. Hey, don't click off. Don't click off. Look at this. Look at this. I'm controlling three different computers with one mouse. Three different computers with one mouse. If you want to see how to do it, you're going to have to stick around. But you know me, let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. All right, before we hop onto the desktop and show you how you can add Input Leap to your Botticera machine, your Windows machine, your Ubuntu machine, really any machine you want. Before we head over to the desktop, I'm gonna show you this machine here. Oh gosh, did you hear that? Okay, if you watched the previous video, I took that apart and now Okay, well, as long as we leave it alone, everything's fine. <laughs> Anyways, you can see on this computer, this is Botticera. We're running on the desktop mode. So if I click F1, it'll take me back on the desktop mode. And the mouse is still working. Same thing once I go over here. Boom! Same mouse. And this is my Windows machine. And I can continue over here. Boom! Same mouse. And I am on my... It doesn't want to... Come on. There you go. And I'm on my Ubuntu machine here. So let's go ahead. We'll hop over on the desktop and we'll show you how to install Input Leap on Windows. Then we'll show you how to install it on Botticera. All right. Over here on our desktop, let's go ahead and head to Mozilla Firefox or whatever browser that you use. You might not use Mozilla. You might use Chrome or Edge or Internet Explorer. <laughs> All right, over here on Mozilla Firefox, the easiest way to install Input Leap is to first install Chocolatey. So just Google Chocolatey. And it's like super easy. Like, look, this isn't even, I didn't even spell it remotely right. And it, it's, it's still right here. Boom, here's Chocolatey. You can go up here to install. I'm moving a little quick, so we'll slow down. Go up here to install. And then we wait. And we skip this, don't give them your email, leave this alone, read this if you want, you know, that's up to you. I'm just telling you what to do. How do you want to get this done? Or we're going to mess around and be worried about hacks and, and, and scams. No, I'm just kidding. Do your own due diligence. You know, I can't be responsible for what happens to your machine. If you do something that I do and you do it incorrectly. Um, or even if you do it correctly and, and, and whatever, anyways, I'm not responsible, but this is what we're going to do. Now that that's out of the way, we need to go into the PowerShell. So before we go into the PowerShell, uh, we're going to run this, go ahead and highlight it and copy it. And you're going to go down to your windows symbol and you're going to search power. And once you search power, it's going to be windows PowerShell, but we're going to run it as administrator. So you can right click run as administrator. Now we're in the shell. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast for you, but we're going to take this little command that we just highlighted and we're going to paste it here and we're going to click enter. Now for you, it's probably going to say restricted. Mine says all signed because I've already done this. If it says restricted, then you're going to highlight this, copy it, and you're gonna paste it here. And then you're gonna click enter. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, but that's what you're gonna do to get it to say all signed. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and rerun this to make sure that it says all signed. And enter, all signed, great. Now that we have all signed, we can run this command here. You're gonna copy this, you're gonna open up your shell, and you're gonna paste, and then you're gonna click enter. It's really that simple. And once it runs through all of that, you'll be done when it returns to this screen that looks like this, and it'll just be blank like this. And you can type C-H-O-C-O and click enter. And then it'll give you your chocolatey version. All right, so once you have Chocolatey installed fully. We're going to go and you can just copy it off the screen or you can just type it in, but you're going to type in Chaco install input dash leap. You can copy that. 
or type it into the command and then you press enter and that's going to install input leap for you so now that you have chocolatey and now that you have input leap you're really done once you install input leap you need to go here it's not going to give you an application on your desktop or anything like that you're going to go into your uh search bar and type in input and it, it'll pop right up and you can click on it and now you've got input leap open on your windows machine now there's some more setup that we have to do now you're gonna first thing you're gonna do is go to input leap go to change settings and you're gonna have enable ssl checked uncheck that you want a blank box you want a blank box and then click okay boom now if you're connecting this to your botticera machine which we are today you know this is the kev obato channel so we're gonna be connecting to botticera so we can go ahead and click configure server now, if you look here, I have my Botticera machine on my left and I have my laptop on the right, just like I showed you at the beginning of this. This is how you set that up. Now, for you, these will be blank squares. All you've got to do is double click on any square and it's going to bring up, it's going to say unnamed. Now, for you, go ahead and click on whichever box uh, you'd like. So if your Botticera machine is on the left, your Botticera machine is on the right or, you know, up or down, if it's up here or down there. Let's say yours is on the left like mine. Double click the left box and type in Botticera in all caps. Go ahead and do that now because then you won't have to worry about it later. So go ahead and do that. Get that situated where you want. You click OK and click OK. Now you see your IP address is up here. For me, I had to use this last one. This one that's in bold wouldn't work for me and this one wouldn't work. So I use this last one here. So you just mess around with those and find which one works. Um, and I'll show you what you do with this IP address in a minute, but just, you know, let's just keep this screen open. Now, now that I've showed you how to add the configuration to add Botticera to here, we're going to go over to Botticera and add input leap there so that we can finish this video off. It's not going to be too long. Um, I just want to show off this amazing application. I can't believe this. I've been living under a rock, you know, but let's go ahead. We'll head over to the Botticera machine and I'm going to show you how to install Input Leap. Depending on where you're at in your Botticera journey, you either A, have the BUA installed, B, don't have the BUA installed, or C, have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. So if you already have the BUA installed, you can go to the timestamps in the description and find out where you need to be if you want to skip this next portion. But for anybody who's newer to Botticera who doesn't have the BUA installed, we've got to install the BUA. Now, before you do anything, check that you're connected to the internet for the love of God. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how many times people aren't connected to the internet and they think they are and, and they swear it. And then I tell them, just check, just check. And then they're like, hey, somehow I got disconnected. It happens all the time, even to me. But once you know that you have your internet connected, you're gonna press F1 to go into your file manager. Next, we're gonna go on the left side up to applications. And then you're gonna look for X term. You're not gonna have all these add-ons unless you do, and you know, you're like me and you're just going crazy. But we're gonna open up X term and you're gonna type the command that you see on the screen now. Once you have that installed, you're gonna go ahead and press enter and it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. And you're gonna wait for it to finish. All right, once the BUA is finished installing, you can type in exit and press enter, and that'll take you out of X term. And now you'll have the fancy pantsy BUA. We're gonna go ahead and go to the BUA. We're not gonna waste any time. Now, once you get into the BUA, we're gonna need to install the multiple applications. Now, I haven't tested this add-on without the desktop mode, so you're gonna need to go down to system utilities, and you're gonna go down to desktop for Botticera, and you're gonna install that. Now, I'm not gonna do that here, um, cause it does take a little while and I've already got it, obviously. So I'll leave in the top right hand corner, the video that I made on the desktop mode. That way that you can just watch that and, you know, get all the info you need. Once you learn how to install the desktop mode, you can come back and finish this video. But anyways, now that you've got the desktop mode installed, hopefully you've watched that video and, and, or you've been using it for forever already. You're going to scroll down to you find input leap. And you're going to go ahead and install that and it's going to do its thing now the main reason that you need the desktop mode for this i'm going to go ahead and close out of the bua but you would install input leap is because during this install it's going to create 
an, an icon on your desktop, your main desktop. It's going to create an icon for Input Leap with special instructions. So if you don't have desktop mode, then that's going to make it very hard <laughs> for it to add an icon and you won't be able to launch it properly. So here, in, here's Input Leap here. We can go ahead and execute it. And you see, we've got it up here. Now, this is where your IP address from the Windows desktop is gonna come into handy because you're gonna want to sign in as a client here. On the Windows machine, you'll be labeled as a server and on the Bodicera machine and any other machine you want to use, you'll be labeled as a client unless your keyboard and mouse are connected to your Bodicera machine, um, then you can set that up as the server. So it really just depends on how you wanna do it. But in today's video, I'm using my main keyboard and mouse from my Windows machine and then using that on all my other machines simultaneously. So we're gonna check this box for client. As you see, the name of it is Botticera. And uh, I went ahead and put the IP address here. Let's change the IP address to the one that I had over on my other machine, I think is what it is. Yep, there it is. So. I change that to that, and then I'll go ahead and press start. Now, if you have any issues where it gets stuck saying input leap is starting, you need to go back over to your other machine and you're gonna click reload. And boom, as you can see, now it says input leap is running. And it's a little finicky, so sometimes you've gotta reload, maybe you need to, restart your machine a time or two, but eventually you'll get down and used to, you know, how it works. Anyways, now that you've got it connected and it says running, you will be able to access your machine with the one mouse. Now, remember, that's going to be the biggest thing for you to make sure that you're taking a look at. Input leap is running. You want it to say that on every device you have. If it says input leap is starting, something's not happening right. And you can click on input leap and show log. And if there's any errors, it'll say it here. Now, for the most part, you get errors like this, where it's saying disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting, connected. Um, you, all you need to do is reload. So just reload the input leap application on all your devices and it should work. Now, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.